Yeah, I like this. Do you see the details? Yeah, God is in the details. Look at that. Yes, he is. Creator has created such a beautiful bloom. Good morning, good morning, and welcome. Today is July 25th, and it's kind of cool. It's like 63 degrees, and um, it's supposed to get warmer. We're supposed to get into the 80s, but it feels very fall-like. Um, as I have seen for this year, the temperatures have been very low and yes we've had a few or a couple of hot days but overall the temperatures have been fairly cool the roses are now starting to give their second bloom and this one here is showing some new growth and then this knockout rose is uh, blooming also and showing some new growth on it on the tips that's really nice. Also, this um, Rosa Regosa is also showing some great growth, too. Now, there's something eating the flowers. I've, I caught them. There's like these little bugs eating the flowers. Um, and so this, which would have turned into uh, beautiful rose hips have been devoured <laughs> by these bugs but there's still time um, for them to develop and I see a lot of new growth coming in here so that is promising and as I said here look at this This is a knockout rose, and I saw that um, stem coming in, that new cane, and it is flowered. Look at that, very beautiful, with the euonymus, which is looking healthy this year. You know, one year, the euonymus weren't looking so great. Uh, they looked like they were dying out. I had a lot of leaf drop, but this year they look very healthy in the border. And this is another type of euonymus. I transferred it over here in the garden. And it's growing really well too. So that's good. I think that that one works more like a ground cover and it's all up in the this rose bush. <laughs> it's almost like, you know, a companion to it. I like the color combination. Do you see that? The chartreuse color of this particular rose with that euonymus looks really nice. And this is a sight to behold. Look at that. That's my zebra grass and it's very healthy looking this year. Very nice with the euonymus. This whole side of the bed looks so nice. This is called, um, this is my side garden, <laughs> my side border. And um, it's gone through different phases. I love this phase right now. And I love how it looks. The zebra grass. That is why it is called zebra grass. You 
see the, the little uh, striations? Um, that's so nice. And it really looks good with the variegation here of the Euonymus. Well, I really like how these Purple Perella have uh, just come into place here. I Some of these are from last year and some of them are their own um, placement. You know, they seeded themselves there. But a couple of them I moved in because um, I wanted to change the look here. And I'm glad that I did. Um, that purple with the green it just helps to act, accentuate the yellow of these tick seed and I think that it was a good move because um, if you look at the tick seed the detail in the tick seed see the center of it it's almost like the color of the euonymus I mean the purple perella and check this out isn't that pretty that's a daylily And um, it's just looking so healthy there. Oh, these snails have become the nemesis of my garden. Look at that snail. And you know what I'm going to do with him? I'm going to step on him. Look at his shell. He matches the garden. But he can't stay there. No, he can't. That's the end of that. But um, back to this. Now, isn't that a beautiful arrangement? I think that that just looks so nice. Now, just um, moving from this section to this section. As I said, the um, roses have really picked up here and you're you're getting to see them reboom this is another um, flush of roses and rose um, yeah rose extravaganza <laughs> I am really happy with this cornflower each level each stage in its development is just looking so beautiful I mean, it's like the cones are just popping up. Do you see them here? That's the beginning stage. And then look at how it's developed here. I, I really, really like that. Now, there are some yellow flowers that are opening up here now. Um, they used to be all in this area here but I cut back the flowers and um, you can see them there I cut it back because uh, they were like overwhelming the peonies and some of the other things but I can see them in the background there now look at this I believe that's called loose strife, but it's the right color and it's working well with the lilac bush, which is um, giving another quick flush. And we're going to have to somehow cut this down uh, later on, but for right now, it's so beautiful. And the bees are loving this. Look at that. The bees and the butterflies and also the hummingbirds are just loving this area and I'm loving it too. It just looks so good. Now my squash plants 
have now picked up and they are trailing. Look at that. They're going to find their way up into this bush if it's anything like last year and I will have some summer squash but it's kind of been a delay in my vegetable garden and um, it's I think because of the cool temperatures um, that I really don't see a lot of uh, vegetable growth but they're coming in it's just going to take a little bit of time now by the way it's about 65 66 degrees right now this morning which is kind of cool I think for this time of July in the garden um, however uh, the flowers are loving it the flowers love it but the vegetables I don't know if they really love that the idea that it's so cool now let's take a look at this um, these are my eggplants and I'm starting look at that beautiful I'm starting to see the eggplants develop which is good and um, you can see in here And these are the, the okra. My okra seedlings are starting to catch. The basil, I've been enjoying that basil. And um, look, I see something special in the garden here this morning. Let's take a look. Our lily. Yes. Stargazer lily. Now, I planted this lily, <coughs> excuse me, years and years ago. And these little bugs that loved the lily plants had eaten it down. But I think that the, because you can see that, right? See how that's been destroyed? But over time, this has rebounded and I'm able to get at least one beautiful bloom from it. I'm very excited about that and thankful for this beautiful, beautiful stargazer lily. Now back in here, I also planted, when I planted the bee balm, um, I planted a, a four inch pot over here too and also a um, butterfly bush. And um, the butterflies have really been enjoying this. Um, I've seen a couple of butterflies. I tried to uh, videotape it, but um, they weren't agreeing with me. The, the lighting wasn't so great, but this is so beautiful. The hummingbirds also love this along with the, the butterflies. I think it is because of the fact that they have um, a certain, do you see this? This is, this is the a lilac bush, but do you see how there's like, there's like a, a hole or a place where they can stick their beak and get that nectar. And I think that that's what they love. Um, and that's why they love this particular plant. Now, my um, hydrangea, look at that. Over a short period of time, they're getting larger. And I seem to have a lot of blooms on this um, hydrangea tree, which is great. I mean, this, this tree has been very very faithful and um, has shown up each year just getting more beautiful at one point I thought that um, it was not doing so well but um, in the last couple of years it's just rebounded and just really looks beautiful I like like its shape so this is the bee bomb um, it has some new growth coming already so I guess I will just leave it and let it grow. The bees love it.
Well, here's my okra plants, the seeds that I planted in from Baker Creek. And um, they, they're growing a little slow, but they're, they're coming. And I'm happy about that. I'm very happy. My Cleome is doing well. These seeds are, these plants, the seeds that I got with these zinnias, are from the Dollar Tree store and I love this I love the single petal flowers here of the zinnia which is totally different from the other zinnia that I have uh, look at my cucumber plants now I don't know why they're not growing fully I don't know if this location is not the best for them. Um, I did not plant as many as I did before, but I think I'm going to get some seeds and plant some more cucumbers because I'm missing them. Look at this little baby snail. I'm going to kill it too. Now, I love this. I love marigolds and I love the color of the marigolds in this it's from a pack of seeds also from the dollar store now you know look at this as an eggplant I was a little discouraged about the vegetables but to see them coming in makes me feel happy Each phase of the garden is so different and the garden is just looking so lush this morning and just so beautiful. Um, definitely a cottagey look and appeal and the cosmos have really helped with that. But then I have a lot of plants that are um, cottagey in nature. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, the Cleome, the Zinnias, the Cosmos, the Bee Balm, even the Purple Perella um, with the uh, Loose Strife, the Echinacea, the Lilies, Roses, um, Butterfly Bush, and now we're coming up to Oh, look at this. Let me stop and show you these zinnias. Beautiful. Look at this. I've never seen before a double cosmos like that. That is real pretty. I'm going to have to save these seeds. Look. Do you see that? Let me see if I can. Yeah. Double, double petaled cosmos. Might be a little difficult to see. And these are more of a purple shade. Now I love this color of the zinnia. Check that out. That is gorgeous. And then of course the oranges and the yellows. Yeah, they're looking so good. I did come through yesterday and cut back some of these Cosmos. Um, it's actually just acting as a filler 
because I don't see any flowers on this. I don't know if it's going to flower later, but I cut them back because I think they were shading out some of the other plants and seedlings. Now this was a beautiful, beautiful zinnia and it's now fading and um, but it flowered and bloomed um, this particular one which is going to come out like that. It's going to look nice. Yeah, I like this. Do you see the details? Yeah, God is in the details. Look at that. Yes, he is. Creator has created such a beautiful bloom and even the veining of these uh, purple perilla I did pull out some of them but it's so hard because um, the purple perilla is just a great accent plant for all of these other plants it just makes them really sparkle I love the flower of this eggplant which is doing well and um, my squash plants are just uh, trailing through the garden do you see that yeah they're just finding their way now I love this daylily And daylilies only last for a day. So we've got to really enjoy this daylily right now. I love the buttery yellow look. Now my other daylilies that I had, um, the um, Stella de Aura daylilies, that was a more richer orangey color but this one I love this pastel look um, it's just nice and gentle and um, there are a lot of blooms there so I'm gonna have it for a little bit and that's a good thing yeah the Stella de Oro color was almost like this um, squash color but I, I really really love the, the yellowy look it's almost like a creamy appearance. I love that. And it goes really well with the um, with the hydrangea tree. Well, my squash in there, look at that. They're trailing. That is an encouragement because I was wondering, well, what's happening? I'm not going to have any squash, any pumpkin this year. What's going on here? And um, to see them trailing through the garden like this, and I really planted them here. So the purpose for planting them here is so that they will have some room to trail. Um, but I also love how it looks there now ooh, this Casablanca lily I believe that this one is the Casablanca and this one is the other plant the other lily that's why it's so it's delayed in opening that I have in the garden um, but it is so beautiful now I don't know why these top ones I like that I'm going to just pull them because um, that's not going to bloom but the rest of them will so I have a couple of more blooms I love the candle arbor shape of the Casablanca lilies how that each layer of the lily just um, opens up and um, just looks so beautiful I think in the next couple of days it will reach the top well it couldn't reach the very zenith because this um, these are rotten but it's just going to be beautiful now this is a hydrangea tree 
um, or bush. And then my sedum. I like the sedum right now in this stage. It's going to have little pink flowers, but it looks so pretty there. Um, the way that it's designed right now. Well, my watermelon plant is traveling. And then I have, I believe that is um, cantaloupe. And they look happy. Yeah, they look happy on that. And I was so glad that I was able to move the tomato cage over there so that they'll have something to lean on and then um, I might just put some strings or something over there on the wall um, that they'll be able to rest on the wall I'm going to step in here um, because I want you to see the yellow flowers uh, let's see See back in there? I planted those yellow flowers. Let me zoom in so you see what I'm talking about. And um, they're going to grow. I may have to change my location so that you can see it better. But I'm glad that they're spreading there. I was hoping that I would catch a butterfly. Um, I saw a monarch butterfly yesterday and I was trying to um, capture it. Um, but that's okay. It's still a beautiful morning here. And um, I just like this lighting because um, you get to see the flowers really well. Thank you for watching and see you next time in Catherine's Garden. Bye!